hi welcome back to my channel um today i thought it would be fun to do an x-files tag which is why i'm wearing my Mulder shirt which is actually a Mulder meets ancient alien shirt so i searched on youtube for x-files tag and i found two people who had each made up their own tag and i kind of sourced questions from both of them to do this and i will um, list the questions below in case you want to do the tag too uh so let's just jump right into it uh when did you start watching the x-files I started when I was 12 years old in 1998. My parents had already watched it and that was when they finally decided that I was old enough to start watching it too. And I used to watch all of the reruns um, to sort of like catch up to where they were in 1998. And I just got completely obsessed. I had an alien newsletter that I made my friends in middle school read, um, even though they weren't into aliens. And I had the I Wanna Believe poster. I had a Mulder and Scully action figure set. I just was very, very, into it right from the beginning. Are you more of a Mulder or a Scully? I am completely a Mulder. Um, it's not just I, that I believe in aliens and supernatural kind of stuff, which I do, but um, just his personality. He's more um, like messy and uh, he'll like run late to meetings and um, he's very impulsive. I'm very impulsive. Scully is like a tidy, punctual sort of person and that's completely not like me and Mulder is also more of like a social misfit than Scully is in the especially in the earlier episodes she still has like a life she's trying to go on dates and she's like you know hanging out with her sister and, and Mulder's more of like a loner and he his life is consumed by his work in um in the ghost who stole Christmas episode um Ed Asner's character says uh, Mulder has pathetic social maladjustment and I feel like I can relate to that so, uh, so yeah, Mulder, definitely. Do you ship Mulder and Scully? Why or why not? Um, I ship Mulder and me. <laughs> I do not ship Mulder and Scully. Please don't hate me. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm the only X-Files fan who didn't want them to get together at all. Um, I just, I like platonic relationships in pop culture. Um, I feel like I'm the only one who feels that way like everybody even I think wanted Jack and Liz to get together on 30 Rock and I was so relieved when I reached the end of that series and they never got together I, I just I prefer platonic relationships on TV and I kind of get upset when people get together and it just kind of ruins things just, I don't like Mulder and Scully as a couple I think they're great as like BFFs co-workers um, there's like those later episodes in the original series where Scully is emailing Mulder and it'll be like Dear Fox. No. You know, Mulder, not Fox. Like, even if they were going to end up together, I feel like they would have still called each other Mulder and Scully. That part always bothers me. All right. Um, what are your favorite types of episodes, the myth arcs or the standalones? When I watched it for the first time when I was a teenager, I used to just, like, live for the alien episodes to find out what was happening in, like, the overarching... Uh, theme but lately it's more monster of the weeks those are my favorite episodes which i'll get to in a second um so yeah monster of the weeks what is your favorite episode um okay i have a top favorite that is arcadia um that's the episode where Mulder and scully go to this like suburban planned community and um anyone who isn't sticking to the strict rules of the homeowners association winds up mysteriously missing um that is just I can't even describe why I like it so much. Um, even though I don't ship Mulder and Scully, I love their dynamic in this episode where um, they're posing as a husband and wife. It's just a really fun episode. Um, and it's just really well done. I like the way it's written. Um, but I cannot just name one episode because I really like a bunch of episodes. So um, I'm going to also name Musings of a Cigarette Smoking Man. That's the one where um, it tells the backstory of CSM. Um, how the Ghosts Stole Christmas. I actually have a tradition with myself um, where every Christmas Eve I watch that before I go to bed and I've been doing that for like 10 years now maybe. It's been, I think ever since it started showing up on streaming sites, I've been doing it. Um, I didn't do it when like you had to use a DVD. Um, Bad Blood and Postmodern Prometheus and Clyde Bruckman's Final Repose. Those are my favorite episodes. What is your least favorite episode? Um, definitely, this is, again, I'm like the worst X-Files fan because I feel like a lot of my opinions go against what most people who like the show say, but the fluke man. 
mm, no um no I have a really hard time with that episode every time I see that it's coming on I actually just skip it I think the last time I watched it I was probably 12 um that monster just creeped me out so bad plus it was like um I think it was in New Jersey sewer systems that's like where the fluke man was and I live in New Jersey it was just it was very disturbing and then any episode with the, the character Donnie Faster he's like a um like a serial killer that's really uh creepy like honestly sometimes humans are the worst monsters um who is your favorite guest star uh, Luke Wilson in Bad Blood. Bad Blood is the episode where uh, Mulder kills what he thinks is a vampire and um, they're, they're trying to get their story straight for what they're going to tell Skinner. And um, Mulder's version of the events is totally different from Scully's and they show it in two different ways. And when um, Scully is telling her version, Luke Wilson is like incredibly dashing and sweet and charming. And then when Mulder is telling his version, he has like fake teeth and he's not that bright. And the way Luke Wilson plays like the like dashing sheriff and then the way he plays like the other one, I think that he's hilarious. Um, Mark Shepard in Fire just because he's in Supernatural. Um, and I don't really like the newer episodes all that much, but I love Joel McHale. So Joel McHale. Uh, and the next question kind of goes back, original series or reboot? Original series. Hands down. I really liked the episode Them in the reboot. Um, I think it was from the most recent season, but... Okay, favorite season. Season 6! Um, I could watch season 6 over and over. Actually, no. I have watched season 6 over and over. Um, there's times where I go back and I start at the pilot and I work my way all the way through and then there's times where I literally just start at season six, go to the end, and then start at season six again. I love it. It has a lot of episodes that I really like and I will list some of them for you now. How the Ghost Stole Christmas, The Rain King, SR819, Monday, and my favorite, Arcadia. Uh, the Dreamland arc where Mulder switches bodies with Michael McKeon, Drive, Triangle, and The Unnatural, which David Duchovny directed. Um, what fan theories do you think should be canon? Um, the only one that I was, like, aware of as a fan theory was that Scully is immortal, and I agree, and I'm not actually sure if I think it's, like, I, I kind of think that it's a real part of the show and not that it's a fan theory, because, like, they, they reference it kind of often, I think, um, but, um, just to get like other fan theories I googled and I came up with this video where David Duchovny was um, saying whether or not he believed fan theories on a clip from the James Corden show and um, I'll link that below too because it was really fun to watch and one of the ones they brought up in the video was um, that Mulder hid Scully's keys in The Ghost Who Stole Christmas and obviously he did so yes I agree with that one. Um, number 11 is Scariest Monster visually fluke man um still like even if i google x files and that shows up somewhere in the images i'm just like terrified um also donnie faster again he just really really creeps me out and then the episode too shy where there's um this killer who's going after women on like online dating sites um and um he, when he when he goes to kill them he like throws up this like spider web goo oh. really scary <laughs> and another reason not to do online dating um what did you think of the movies i love fight the future i think even on its own like if you're not an x-files fan it's a great movie i i've watched it probably as many times as i've watched the whole series a lot of times if i'm doing like a watch through where i start at the pilot and go all the way through um once i get to the end of season five I watch the movie, then I pick up season six. Um, did not like I want to believe, like at all. I think I've watched it once. Um, it just like didn't. It didn't even feel like the X Files. And that's it for the questions for today. So um, thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and I will see you next week. Bye.